Good morning, friends, and welcome to Rambling with Red Yarn. Are y'all ready to get rambling? All good. Where do you think we should ramble to today? Hmm, maybe we should check our map. Or maybe take it to the deep woods, where the critters make you feel good. Or maybe take a walk down on the farm, and do some dancing in the old barn. Or maybe take you around this town, backyard to the playground. Maybe we could take a gamble. Maybe we could go rambling. Well, I'm gonna take you rambling. Farm to the forest. Fast as a hare, slow as a tortoise. I'm scrambling through the briars and brambles. Ambling, longing to explore this land. Then meander back home to a family. Singing the chorus, we're rambling. Sing it again, we're rambling. Woohoo! Welcome to Rambling with Red Yarn. I'm so glad you're all here today. Oh, it's so good to see you. First things first, I gotta let you know, this is gonna be my last rambling show of the springtime. And I'm gonna take a break during the summer because I've got different virtual shows for libraries across the country. I've got some in-person stuff going on. Not much in Portland yet, but I'm working on it. And I've got some family travel and stuff like that, too. So I won't be coming to you every Thursday for the next few months. And then we'll kind of have to wait and see what my rambling schedule should look like come fall time. I think I'll still try to live stream, you know, at least once a month or something like that. Um, but hopefully I'll be getting more and more in-person shows. So I'll keep you posted. But we're going to have some fun because this is going to be our last rambling show for the foreseeable future. Are you all ready to have some fun together? Oh, good. How much fun do you think we should have today? Like, this much fun? More than that? Like, this much fun? More than that? Like, this much fun? More than that? Stretch out your arms and show me how much fun you want to have. You want to have that much fun? That is so much fun. I'm going to need your help if we're going to have that much fun. Who remembers? How do we have fun when old Red Yarn, that's me, and my critters come around? What do we like doing for fun? Yeah, you got it. First, we love singing together. Put one finger up near like this if you love singing like I do. Good, let's warm up our singing voices. Take a big deep breath and sing. La, 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 la. Oh, beautiful. Put two fingers up like this if you like dancing too. Who likes to dance? Nice, let's warm up our dance moves. Everybody give me a little wiggle. Uh, so know you're ready to dance. Raise one hand if you like animals. Oh, thank goodness, because I brought a bunch of critters with me today, and they can't wait to see you. And raise both your hands like this, and stick your tongue like this, and go, ah, if you want to get a little silly. Should we get a little silly today? I think that's a great idea. Well, friends, let's get started with our little good morning song, okay? Can you make your son in front of you like this? Everybody make your son, and sing with me now. The sun has come up, the rooster has crowed. And I'm wide awake from my head to my toes. My friends are all here. We're ready to play. Good morning to you. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> it is a beautiful day. Um, let's see who all's here today. Let's see who all's watching. All right, we've got Free and Zaza say hi and good morning. Hi and good morning, Free and Zaza. Oh, Zaza says, I'm still a little bit sick, but I'm healing up. Oh, I'm glad you're feeling a little bit better, Zaza. Did you get a bad cold? I know there's been some colds going around now that, you know, more people are pulling their masks down. So I, I'm glad to hear you're feeling a little better, and I hope you get all the way better soon. Benson and Naomi are here. Hi, Benson and Naomi. Great to see you all this morning. Scarlett and June are here. Hi, Scarlett and June. Good morning from Amelia and Colette and family. Happy summer to all. Let's party. Hi, Colette. Hi, Amelia. Amelia, glad you're off school now so you can tune in this morning. It's great to see you. Howdy from Team JP. Hi, Team JP. It's great to see y'all. Oh, let's see. I got to catch up. Hattie says, hi, Red Yarn. See you this summer. Hi, Hattie. I'm glad to see you here. I hope to see you in person this summer. Eliza says hi. Hi, Eliza. 
JP wants to know what's the name of my frog. Good question, JP. My frog has a very, very creative name. His name is Mr. Froggy. And you'll be seeing him later this show. <laughs> um, Ronan says, hi from Orcas Island. That's so cool. You're at Orcas Island. Ronan, it's so beautiful out there. I hope you have a wonderful time at Orcas Island. And thanks for tuning in. Um, Zaza says, I like to pretend to be Tweak sometimes. Zaza, you have to remind me what Tweak is a character from. I know that's a character from something, but I'm forgetting what it's from. But that's a fun character to pretend to be. Beth and JW say good morning. Hey, good morning, Beth and JW. Annie and Leon say hi to Red Yarn and all the friends. Hi, Annie. Hi, Leon. Oliver and Arlo are here. Hi, Oliver. Hi, Arlo. Jam and Apple say hi, Red Yarn. Hi, Jam. Hi, Apple. It's great to see you all this morning. If anybody's name, I... Ooh. And hi from Eva Marie. Hi, Eva Marie. Thanks for tuning in. If there's anybody else whose name I didn't call out yet, make sure you get it in the comments so um, I can say hello to you, okay? There's a few friends who usually watch after the fact, like Fred Bell. Hi, Fred Bell. And um, wait, I'm blanking. I know Katie Plue Bell often tunes in late. So hi, Katie Plue Bell, if you're watching later. And... There's a few other names that are going to come to me in a minute, and I'm going to say hi to them just in case they watch later on. <laughs> All right, y'all. Oh, cool. Uh, oct Tweak is an octonaut. Co um, Colette just said that um, Zaza, our other friend Colette who's watching, says Colette's favorite octonaut is Tweak 2. Let's play sometime. That's a great idea. I'm glad y'all can connect over octonauts while watching Ramblin' with Red Yarn. <laughs> okay, friends. Well, we're going to celebrate today. We're not just celebrating because it's my last rambling show of the season, but we're also celebrating a special day that's coming up on Saturday. Does anybody know what special day is coming up this Saturday, June 19th? I'll give you a hint. The Congress just voted that this day will now be a national holiday. Anybody know what it is? It's called Juneteenth. Can you say that? Juneteenth. And do you know what the celebration is about on Juneteenth? Well, maybe you do, but if you don't, let me share a little story with you. So way back in the 1860s, so like 160 years ago, basically, kind of a long time ago, slavery was still happening in the USA which was a terrible thing. Lots of African people had been enslaved to do hard work, and it was a terrible part of our country's history, but it did happen, and it's something we need to reckon with, right? In the year 1863, the president of the United States at that time, Abraham Lincoln, um, issued something called the Emancipation Proclamation. And the Emancipation Proclamation was saying, now all of those enslaved people are free. They are no longer have to be um, enslaved to do hard work without any pay and with really, really terrible treatment. So this was a big piece of progress, but it took a lot of time for that news to travel. And it wasn't until like two years later, on June 19th, 1865, in Galveston, Texas, which is a co uh, town on the Gulf Coast of Texas, not too far where I grew up in Austin. It wasn't until two years later, on June 19th, 1865, that the last group of enslaved people in Galveston, Texas, found out about the Emancipation Proclamation and found out that they were free. So that whole community burst into celebration. It was such an amazing piece of news. They burst into celebration and they've been celebrating on June 19th ever since then. Where I grew up in Texas, Juneteenth has been a state holiday for a long time because it happened in Texas. But just now, it was just announced like today or yesterday that Juneteenth is gonna be a national holiday all across the USA celebrating the real end of slavery, of enslavement of African people in the USA. So that's something that we can all celebrate. 
all right? So be on the lookout. There's going to be, I bet, a lot of stuff going on this Saturday on Juneteenth. I want to point you to a couple of things. Some of my colleagues, my friends Fuch and the Alphabet Rockers, just released a really amazing hip-hop song called Juneteenth, and it came with a beautiful music video they released. It's in, linked in my Facebook post. So after this show, watch the music video for more history on Juneteenth from Fuch and the Alphabet Rockers. Also on Saturday on Juneteenth, a bunch of my family music colleagues are releasing an album called All One Tribe. And All One Tribe is a compilation album, 25 songs by 24 black family music artists celebrating all the amazing diversity and culture that um, and talent that black family music artists are bringing to the genre and they're going to have an online release party at 11 a.m pacific time on their youtube page on saturday june 19th juneteenth and i link to that in my facebook post also so mark your calendars for 11 a.m pacific 2 p.m eastern time this saturday tune in to the all one tribe album release show it's going to be so good i promise cool all right well thanks for listening and thinking and learning a little bit about Juneteenth with me today. And I hope you all keep researching it and talking about it at home with your families. Vivi just tuned in. She says hi, and she's wearing her rainbow stripe jammies. Hi, Vivi. Thanks for tuning in this morning. And thanks for listening, everybody, to a little history lesson about Juneteenth. Keep on reading. Keep on learning about that. And let's say hi to one of my critters. Let's call out my friend, Miss Molly Cottontail. Everybody say, come on out, Miss Molly. Come on out, Miss Molly. Good morning, friends. It's me, Miss Molly Cottontail. Say hi, Miss Molly. Hi. I'm so glad to see you all today. Thanks for tuning in. Red Yarn, were y'all talking about Juneteenth? We were talking about Juneteenth, Miss Molly. Oh, that's so exciting. I'm glad y'all are talking and learning about that. Hey, did you know that the character of Molly Cottontail and old Molly Hair came from old, old African-American folk tales and folk songs? That's right, Miss Molly. We've, we've talked about that a little bit on this show, how you are named after an old character from African-American folk tales and folk songs, Miss Molly Cottontail or Old Molly Hair. And a lot of these folk songs we love singing are also from the African-American folk tradition. So could we sing a few of those songs today, Red Yarn? Ooh, I would love to, Miss Molly. What do you got in mind? Well, maybe we should start with the best one of all time, the one about me. <gasps> would y'all like to sing a song about Miss Molly? I hope you remember this one. I hope you'll sing and dance along. Great to see you, friends. Bye. Say bye, Miss Molly. Bye. All right, let's sing that old African-American folk song, Old Molly Hair. What you doing there? You remember this one? I hope so. I'll, I'll teach you how it goes in case you forgot, all right? Or in case you never learned. Um, it's got some singing and some dancing, too. So first, we'll take a big breath and we'll sing. Old Molly Hair, what you doing there? Can you sing that with me? Old Molly Hair, what you doing there? Nice. Then we'll think of something fun to do like Standing up and stretching out and jumping in the air. Here we go. Standing up and stretching out and jumping in the air. Standing up and stretching out and jumping in the air. Everybody stand and stretch and jump, jump, jump. Yeah, jump, 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 jump. jump. All right, let's sing it again, y'all. Old Molly hair, what you doing there? How about? Run into the party just as fast as I can tear. Run into the party just as fast as I can tear. Run into the party just as fast as I can tear. Everybody run, 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 just as fast as you can run. All right, can we sing it even louder? Well, old Molly hair, what you doing there? How about? Hopping up and down like a rabbit in the air. Hopping up and down like a rabbit in the air. Hopping up and down like a rabbit in the air. 
on the count of four. One, two, three, four. Do a silly dance without a worry or care. Do a silly dance without a worry or care. Dance, dance, dance. Dance a silly dance. Alright, everybody clap your hands with me now like this. Clap, 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 clap. And we'll sing. Shaka like a shaka like a shaka like a shay. Shaka like a shaka like a shaka like a shay. Shaka like a shaka like shaka like a shay. Shaka like a shaka like a shaka like a shay. Keep it up. Shaka like a shaka like a shaka like a shay. Shaka like a shaka like a shaka like a shay. Shaka like a shaka like a shaka like a shay. Shaka like a shaka like a shaka like a shay. Yeah, old Molly hair. What a fun song. I love that one. That's one of my all-time favorite folk songs, too. And that comes from the African-American folk tradition. As do many of the songs I like to sing. We've talked about that a lot on this show. How a lot of the folk songs, a lot of the favorite folk songs in the USA, come from African-American communities around the country. Some of these characters and some of these stories and songs have roots back in the time of slavery, or even further back, like they come from stories and songs that originated in West Africa. So these are really old stories and songs and traditions, and it is so cool to learn about them and to appreciate all the beauty and creativity in these old stories and songs that have traveled through time and we're still singing today. So thanks for thinking and celebrating on that with me. Should we see another critter? Yeah, I think we should, but first, we've got another uh, another shout out. Um, Ava and Emma made it, and Emma has a broken arm. Oh my goodness gracious, Emma, I'm so sorry you broke your arm. What happened? That must have hurt. That's kind of a sorry way to start out a summer with a broken arm. Are you wearing a hard cast, or is it in a sling or something? Well, I hope it heals up really quickly and it doesn't keep you from enjoying the summer fun, Emma. I'm really sorry about your broken arm. Uh, but thanks for tuning in to enjoy some morning tunes with me. Leo and George are here too. Hey, Leo and George. Good to see you, buddies. Um, well, friends, I think we should see another critter. What do you say? Yeah? Sounds like a good plan? Great. Let's see my friend Shiloh the Squirrel. You remember old Shiloh the Squirrel, right? Let's call him out in a sweet little voice. Everybody say, come on out, Shiloh. Come on out, Shiloh. Oh, oh Shiloh, Shiloh, come on. Aren't you used to this by now? We've been doing these online shows for like 15 months, and this is probably one of the last ones we're going to do for a little while. Well, we'll keep doing online shows like for different libraries and stuff throughout the summer. But this is the last rambling show we're gonna do for a little while. I would have thought you'd be used to it by now. Oh, Shiloh, no, still very shy. Some things never change. Um, did anybody bring a treat for Shiloh today? Hold out your hand with a little uh, acorn and say, Shiloh, we have acorns. Shiloh, we have acorns. You brought acorns for me? They always do, Shiloh. Oh, that was so very generous of you to think of me like that. Um, on the count of three, could everybody toss me an acorn? Ooh, good idea. On the count of three, everybody toss Shiloh an acorn. One, two, three, toss! Those are such yummy acorns. Thanks for sharing with me, everybody. You're welcome, Shiloh. Shiloh, I thought you would have gotten used to doing these online shows by now. I know, I thought I would be too. When I came out, I thought I was ready to just come out and say hi. But then when I looked at the camera, I remembered how many people were out there watching, and it made me feel shy. 
Oh, it's okay, Shiloh. We're kind of, we, I'm getting pretty used to like looking at the camera and imagining I'm seeing all of you, but I'm kind of hoping that I don't have to do that all the time for much longer. I want to stay connected with y'all with my virtual shows because that's one of the been, been one of the great things about these virtual shows. I get to see people, we get to see people, Shiloh, that we wouldn't otherwise see week to week. We've got friends watching from Florida. We've got friends in Texas and the Midwest and the East Coast and Washington and California and all over the country watching. I know, that's what makes me feel so shy. Oh, Shiloh, but they're our friends. They're our friends. We're connecting with them. Okay, okay. Well, hey, should we sing that song about me now? Would y'all like to sing a song about Shiloh? Okay, um, this is a fun game song, and you can help out by acting out all the parts. Can you do that? Can y'all help out by acting out all the parts of this song? All right, well, stand on up and get ready to do some more hopping. Bye, friends. Say bye, Shiloh. Bye. Mwah. All right, y'all. Let's sing Hop, Little Squirrel. Did you know that this song, too, is an old African-American folk song? It's a game song. A song that was developed to kind of play games with children. Um, and a lot of my favorite old folk songs are these old game songs or play party songs that come from the African American folk tradition. This is one of them. It's called Hop Little Squirrel, also known as Hop Old Squirrel or Jump Squirrel. There's some different variants of it. But how I like to sing it is Hop Little Squirrel, Idlum, Idlum, Hop Little Squirrel, Idlum Dum. Hot little squirrel, idlum, idlum. Hot little squirrel, idlum, dum. Some people, um, I sing it all the time, but some people are like, what are you saying there? Hot little squirrel, idlum, idlum. They're just kind of nonsense words, but uh, you can sing along if you want. Okay, y'all, let's get this one started with some hopping. Are you ready? All right, on the count of four. One, two, three, four. Let's hop, 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 hop. One day Shiloh is going along feeling very hungry. So where is he going to go to find his acorns? Where do acorns grow? Up in a tree, right? Up in a climb a tree. Climb, 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 climb. Climb little squirrel. to the top of the tree and he finds a big acorn and he starts munching on it. Every pretend like you're munching on an acorn. Hop, 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 hop. Munch little squirrel, I love, I love, munch little squirrel, I love them. Munch little squirrel, I love, I love, munch little squirrel, I love them. He's munching on an acorn when who should come along but a big dog. And the dog starts barking. Everybody bark like a dog. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go! Run little squirrel, I love, I love, run little squirrel, I love dumb, run little squirrel, I love, I love, run little squirrel, I love dumb. He's running and running and running, and he gets to a great big creek rushing by. What sound does the water make when it's rushing by? And he thinks, how am I gonna get over this creek? I guess I better jump up in the air as high as I can on the count of three. Are you all ready? Here we go. One, two, three, jump little squirrel. I love how to jump jump little squirrel. I love them. Jump little squirrel. I love how to jump jump little squirrel. I love them. And shadows flying through the air like this. A woo, a woo, a woo, a woo, a woo, a woo, a woo. But he doesn't quite make it over and he falls in the water with a great big splash little squirrel. I love how to jump splash little squirrel. I love them. Splash little squirrel. I love Underwater, what's he gonna do? Yeah, he's gotta swim, a swim, a swim, a swim, a swim, little squirrel. I love, I love, swim, little squirrel. I love, the swim, little squirrel. I love, I love, swim, little squirrel. I love. He swims to the other side, and he pulls himself out of the water, and he's dripping wet, but he doesn't have a towel or anything to dry off with. How's he gonna dry off? He's gotta shake. A shake, a shake, a shake, a shake, little squirrel. I love, I love, shake, little squirrel. I love, dumb, shake, little squirrel. I love, I love, shake, little squirrel. I love, dumb. He's shaking.
shaking and shaking and shaking and shaking. All the other critters see him shaking. They think he's dancing. They think he's starting a dance party. So on the count of four, we're going to have a dance party. Are y'all ready? All right. Let's get ready. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Dancing squirrel. Out of them, out of them. Dancing squirrel. Out of them, dumb. Dancing squirrel. Out of them, out of them. They don't even notice that the sun goes down, but they all start getting kind of sleepy. So they all stretch out the yard. <sighs> and they all sit back down and put their heads down and they all start falling asleep. Sleep little squirrel, idlum, idlum. Sleep little squirrel, idlum dum. Sleep little squirrel, idlum, idlum. Sleep little squirrel. Look! Did I fall asleep in the middle of my show? Oh my goodness, how embarrassing. Hey, nice dance and nice acting. That was so fun, y'all. Thanks for thanks for jamming along. All right. <laughs> and thanks for waking me up too. My throat's a little scratchy today. Do you notice that? Do you know why? Well, because, like, work is kind of picking back up to me for me, which is a great thing. But yesterday, I had, in the morning, I had four preschool classroom visits in a row. And then I had two, in the afternoon, I had two different preschool graduation parties. Um, so that was, like, six shows, none of them with amplification, me just, like, hollering over a bunch of people and trying to keep my safe distance and all that stuff. So my throat is getting a little scratchy again. Um, so I, I'll be taking care of my throat. Don't worry, y'all. I'll be doing my vocal warm-ups and taking my vocal rest very soon, I promise. <laughs> um, oh, hey, let's see. We've got a few more comments here. Fred Bell is at soccer, but is it super excited to watch later? Good, because I gave Fred Bell a shout-out. Uh, just anticipating that she might be watching later. So thanks for the note. And have fun at soccer, Fred Bell. Oh, and more information from Emma about her broken arm. She fell in her uncle's backyard, but she's a trooper and has had a hard and has a hard purple cast now. Cool. So glad I caught the last morning show. Me too, Emma. That sounds like a cool purple cast. Um, I hope you don't have to wear it too too long. I hope you can still like. Go swimming and stuff this summer. Maybe you can wrap it in a plastic bag and hold it up over your head. If I were nearby, I'd, I'd sign it with a big red Sharpie. I'd write red yarn. Do people still do that? Like sign their names on your cast? That was a big thing when I was a kid. Anyways, I hope it heals up soon. And you've really brave kid to just like be a trooper and deal with that broken arm, Emma. So thanks for letting me know about it. All right, friends. Well, let's see how we're doing on time. I think we're doing fine. It's the last, last rambling show for a while, so... Who, who cares how we're doing on time? We're just going to keep on going. Would you like to see my friend, Mr. Froggy? JP was asking about that earlier. He was wondering what Mr. Froggy's name was. He said, what's your frog's name? His name is Mr. Froggy. Really creative name for a frog, right? Yeah. But I actually got his name from this old folk song we're going to sing in a minute. First, let's call out Mr. Froggy. Everybody say, come on out, Mr. Froggy. Come on out, Mr. Froggy. Oh. Here I come. Hello, friends. It's me, Mr. Froggy. Say hi, Mr. Froggy. Hello. Wonderful to see you today. It's good to see you too, Mr. Froggy. We've been talking about folk songs, these old songs and stories. We've been talking about folk songs from the black American tradition. And uh, I was thinking maybe you wanted to tell him about your special folk song. Oh, I would love to. Did you all know that one of the most beloved children's folk songs of all time is about me? I bet many of them do know that. Have you all heard Froggy Win a Courtin'? I've sung that before and some different versions of it too. Do you know how old that song is? Ooh, does anybody remember how old the song Froggy Win a Courtin' is? Do you have a guess? Do you think it's 100 years old? Older than that. Older than 100 years. Do you think it's 200 years old? Older than that. Well, more than 200 years? Do you think it's 300 years old? Older than that. Older than 300? Do you think it's 400 years old? 
older than that. Oh my goodness. Does anybody think it's 500 years old? Well, then you would be about right. Oh my goodness. It's 500 years old, Mr. Froggy? That's right. This song started off as like a nursery rhyme that parents would say to their kids um, at, at, in, in Scotland, I believe. Oh, in Scotland. Do you know where Scotland is? Like England, Ireland, Scotland, the United Kingdom across the Atlantic Ocean from us? But then the song traveled over to the USA and it got passed all around the country. And African-American communities put their stamp on this song, too. So the way we sing it now, it's more like a black folk song. That's so cool, Mr. Froggy. That's one of my favorite things about how folk songs work. They get passed around. They get adapted over time. There's lots of different ways to sing it. Lots of different cultures and kinds of people put their marks on these songs. So let's sing Froggy Went a Courtin' Today. What do you say? I think that sounds like a great idea. All right, friends. Great to see you. Have fun. Bye. Bye, Mr. Froggy. Thanks for sharing a little more history with us, Mr. Froggy. All right, y'all. Froggy went to court. And you remember this one? All right. It's fun to sing. You can uh, hop and dance along if you'd like to. And there's also some sing-along parts. After each line I say, I need you to say, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Can you do that? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Got it? All right, cool. Listen for the sing-alongs. All right. Here's how it starts. A one, two, three, four. Froggy went a courtin' and he did right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Froggy went a courtin' and he did right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Froggy went a courtin' and he did right. A dozen roses by his side. Uh-huh. 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 He rode down to Miss Mousy's door, uh-huh, uh-huh. Where he had often been before, uh-huh, uh-huh. He took Miss Mousy on his knee and he said, Miss Mousy, would you marry me? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. She said, I have to think on that, uh-huh, uh-huh. And talk it over with my auntie rat, uh-huh. Well, she finally gave up her consent. The weasel wrote the publishment. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Well, where will the wedding supper be? Uh huh, uh huh. Way down yonder in a hollow tree. Uh huh, uh huh. What will the wedding supper be? A fried mosquito and a roasted flea. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. All right, we're gonna add some new words to the song today. I want you to think about what kind of animal might have come to this wedding in the woods. Any kind of animal can come, everybody's invited. So think of an animal, and bonus, think of a word that rhymes with that animal's name. So like bear and hare, or like cow and how. Think of an animal and a rhyming word, and I'll try to work them into the song in just a minute. Put it in the comments, okay? First, we'll do some of the old-fashioned ones. Well, first to come were a few little ants, uh-huh, uh-huh. And they're fixing around to have a dance, uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, the next to come was a bumblebee bouncing a fiddle upon her knee, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, let's think of some animals here. Let's see if anybody's got me in the comments. Well, Scarlet likes the squirrel, Shiloh, who I just showed off. So let's do uh, Shiloh the squirrel. All right. Well, next to come was Shiloh the squirrel. He did a dance with a little girl. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Ooh, we've got deer and near. Nice. Next to come was a nice br brown deer. Um, she gave a call when she was really near. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Hattie says bunny and funny. Good one, Hattie. And next to come was a little bunny. Told a joke and it was really funny. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Colette or Amelia say elephant and rant. Ooh, good one. And next to come was an elephant. She went on an epic rant. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, JP says frogs and dogs. 
Well, next to come was a family of frogs. They got chased around by the dogs. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Ronan says cat and hat. Next to come was a nice brown cat wearing a very fancy top hat. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Ooh, these are so fun. Anybody else got one? I'm gonna give it just another minute here. Sometimes there's a little delay, so I have to wait after you've put it in to see it. Okay, well, we'll just keep going. Maybe, maybe one will pop up just in time. But uh, next to come was a little bit of trouble, you see. Another cat came, but it wasn't a very nice cat. It was a mean tom cat. Everybody meow like a mean tom cat. Meow! Next to come was a mean tom cat. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Try to swallow the frog and the mouse and the rat, uh huh. Oh no, uh huh. Well, the last to come was a big old snake who chased the whole party into the lake, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Well, last verse, same as the first, a little bit louder and a lot bit worse. Froggy and a cornet, he did it right, uh huh, uh huh. Froggy and a cornet, he did it right, uh huh. few more great suggestions came in, so we're going to tack them on to the end of the song. We've got from Colette and Amelia, Raccoon and Swoon. Nice. And next to come was a fancy raccoon. Uh, <laughs> he was so handsome, he made all of the crowd swoon. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. June said cow and bow. Next to come was a nice black cow. Um, Gave a speech and then took a bow. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Ooh, and one more from JP. Alpacas, alpacas, and maracas. <laughs> Next to come was some fuzzy alpacas. Playing a song on the maracas. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, those are great last minute additions, y'all. <laughs> Thanks for all your great ideas. Oh, friends, my goodness, this is so much fun. All right, well, hey, um, it's getting close to that time. Here's what I was thinking. I was thinking I'm going to sing you one original song today. This is a newer song. Loyal listeners may have heard it already, but I got some exciting news. Next week, next Friday, June 25th, as long as all the little pieces come together, I'm going to release a digital single. That means it's not an album, it's not on CD or vinyl or anything, it's just a little standalone song. And it's gonna come out digitally on the computer, on your Spotify, on your Amazon, on your iTunes, wherever you listen to music digitally, okay? It's called I Hear America Singing. And you might remember, I wrote it on Inauguration Day back in January. It was the day that President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris were sworn into office and people around the country were celebrating and commemorating that day. And I was so inspired by the, the poetry, like that amazing poet Amanda Gorman who, who read her poetry at the inauguration ceremony and the singers and preachers and everyday folks who were celebrating that day. I got inspired to write a song and it's a song called I Hear America Singing. I'm going to play it for you by myself, but for the recording, I'm really excited for you to hear it because my friend Andres of Uno, Dos, Tres Andres, he sings a part in Spanish on the song. And then I got some of my other family music friends, Little Miss Anne from Chicago, Aaron Nigel Smith, who's my good buddy here in Portland, who does reggae for families, Kimberly Stewart, who sings uh, children's music. She's based in L.A. Miss Jessie sings on it. And Dean Jones, the guy who helps me produce my music sometimes. He's out in New York. He sings on it, too. And my son and daughter and some of my son's first grade classmates all have a little singing part on it, too. So there's a lot of people from all over the country singing on it. And I'm really excited for you to hear it. So be on the lookout, okay? I hear America singing 
by Red Yarn featuring Uno Dos Tres Andres, um, by Patreon supporters, which I know some of you are. I'm going to give you all a little sneak peek of the finished track um, as soon as I get the mastered copy back like today or tomorrow. So be on the lookout, okay? And everybody else, be on the lookout next Friday, June 25th. And then I, I'm hoping to get a little music video together by July 2nd. So right in time for 4th of July, all right? It's got a sing-along part um, that I need everybody to help with, okay? It goes. I hear America singing. Can you sing that with me? I hear America singing. Can you sing it even louder so I can hear it from the studio? I hear America singing. If you're into like harmonizing and stuff, you could even come up with a harmony like, I hear America singing. Or, I hear America singing. All right, are you ready? So listen for that part, all right. Today I heard some joyful music. Some folks could use it to heal the holes in the broken hearts, to be the soundtrack for a fresh start. I heard their soul and I heard their blues. I heard some folks with some real good news. The country about to pop. Felt the rhythm and felt it rock. So come on, friends, can you hear it too? I hear America singing a song for me and a song for you. Who I hear America singing. You might not find it on the radio station. I hear America. singing along y'all oh that was so fun i'm really really excited to get that song out into the world and for everybody to be able to sing along so be on the lookout okay um well friends you know what 
I think it's time to wrap it up. We've got a few more little comments here. Jack and Winter still missing from Virginia, but we'll see you back in Portland this year. Thanks for all the morning shows. Uh, thanks for tuning in, Jack and Winter. And thanks, Mia, for the kind words on the new song. Um, I can't wait for everybody to hear the recording. It's turned out really, really well, so be on the lookout. All right, friends, it was so good being together today. And hey, it's been so good being together for the last 15 months since the coronavirus started. I've been uh, live streaming most every week, one or two or three times a week. And it's been so awesome to see y'all all through this time. So thank you so much for staying connected. It seriously has kept me going through this whole time. I owe y'all so much gratitude for staying connected here, really. Um, I can't even begin to express how much it's meant to me to be able to connect with y'all through these shows and have a place to be and a show to do every week and knowing that some people are gonna tune in and say hello and sing and dance along. So thank you so much for buoying me and uh, my career through this whole time. Every, li every little donation has helped. If your family's in a p position to donate today, you can do that on Venmo, on Cash App, on PayPal, or on Patreon. That's where you can do it on like an ongoing basis. Um, so thanks everybody for all your support in all those places. One more plug for some cool Juneteenth activities for you. As soon as the show's over, check out the Juneteenth music video by Fuch and the Alphabet Rockers. I link to it in my Facebook post. Um, for some good family-friendly Juneteenth history in hip-hop form for y'all. And then definitely on Saturday at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, tune in to the All One Tribe album release party on YouTube. There's a link to that also in my post. It's a, a collective called One Tribe Collective of 24 black family music artists from around the country, really around the world, who've collaborated on this amazing album. And you got to hear it. It's going to be so cool. All right, y'all. Well, we got to say see you later, alligator. And we got to sing it really loud to make it count because I'm not sure when the next, next time I'll do a rambling show is. I'll have some other virtual library shows and stuff like that. I'll keep posting about them on Facebook and on Instagram and on my website calendar. But I don't have a rambling show on the calendar for a little while. That doesn't mean that we're done rambling. We'll keep rambling. I'll come back and ramble with you another time before too long. But since I don't quite know when that will be, let's sing See You Later Alligator really loud. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. After a while, crocodile. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. After a while, crocodile. Well, I really gotta go. Well, I really gotta go. Give me one more pretty smile. Give me one more pretty smile. Cheese. How about a high five for a great singing and dancing? A pat on the back for good listening and safe bodies. And a big giant hug for being such sweethearts and for staying so connected through this long, challenging time. I hope your summers are starting off great if your summer has started already. I hope to see you really soon, maybe in person. I'll keep you posted about in-person shows in Portland and around the country. And uh, yeah, stay connected, be in touch. Be on the lookout for my new single coming out next week, okay? And more fun stuff coming soon too, all right? Don't be a stranger. See you, friends. Bye.